Team Builder 4. This. Wait, what's the league? Oh yeah, DLC 3 Week 5 Team Builder. So we're going up against a very interesting team with Landers, Tapufini, Salamence, Arcanine, Metagross, Lucario, Zatu, Gastrodon, Jolteon. Uh, this is Ice-type Silvalli, and then this is a No Shadow-type Gothitelle, and then Bufalon. So his team's actually really good, right? He has a lot of speed through like Jolteon and running a Scarfmon. Landorus and Salamence, you might be like, why is there two ice type weakness, like four times weakness to ice on that team? It's actually not that big of an issue because he has Feeny, Meta he has Feeny, Metagross, and Arcanine. And then Gastrodon also pairs really well with this because the grass weakness is just completely mitigated by the entire team. And actually, my Rillaboom matchup isn't that good, which means Gastrodon actually should come. And then, yeah. So, I was looking through my team and I was like, I can come up with something that works. So I wanted to bring Victini. And actually, originally when I was making this team, I had to scarf Cryogonal because Cryogonal has 105 speed and it can actually go for freeze dry and just. It does a ton to Fini and it basically Oko's Gastrodon, Landers, and Salamence. And it outspeeds them if they're Scarf or if Salamence gets her Dragon Dance up. And then I can run Knock Off and Toxic to cover for the Arcanine and uh, Metagross switch ins. But then I was like, I actually don't need it on this team. So, first, you see that he has three Intimidate Pokemon. So just in case he tries to go defensive with any of these three, I brought Milotic. And the Milotic is just a Rocky Helmet with a Recover, Flip, Turn, Scald, and Haze. Haze is to haze off any like random Iron Defense setups or like if Feeny tries to go for Calm Mind or whatever. But you can also have Taunt, but like it's still a safety. And then I have Rocky Helmet because uh, he likes to run dual wing beat Salamence. And I feel like I can get a lot of Rocky Helmet chip off. He might bring like an offensive Arcanine because he knows that I have competitive Milotic. And if he brings the offensive Arcanine, then I can Rocky Helmet chip it. And if he brings a defensive one with Intimidate, then I can go for a... Uh, then the competitive will proc. And if he doesn't bring Intimidate, then... The defensive Arcanine doesn't match up that okay into my team, so yeah. And then also the Rocky Helmet's there for a Bufalant, because Bufalant with Choice Span is actually really powerful. And then yeah, just overall really good. I do regret not having Toxic on Milotic, but I really need these moves. And Flip Turn's really important, because the main switch into Milotic is Tapu Fini, and Tapu Fini might be able to do really well against it, but I can just Flip Turn out. So yeah. Then... I was thinking about how to run Victini, right? Victini does have Glacier to hit these two, but also I feel like he's going to prepare for the physically defensive Victini. So, I ended up bringing a similar set to last week, just it's more standardized. It's Searing Shot, Energy Ball, Future Sight, and then Toxic. Toxic is just for the Arcanine, because uh, Victini doesn't have that good of a matchup into Arcanine, and I just want to toxic, toxic it and switch out. And the reason there's no U-turn on Victini is because whatever switches into Victini, I'd rather go for a Future Sight and then manually switch out, because U-turn doesn't even do that much damage to its switch-ins, or I'd rather Toxic and then just manually switch out, because U-turn doesn't do that much, so yeah. That's why I don't have momentum. And then Energy Ball is just for Feeny and Gastrodon. And yeah, in grassy, ter in grassy Terrain, Energy Ball should knock out most Gastrodon. And then I Searing Shot over Blue Flare simply because Searing Shot... Like, Searing Shot knocks out Lucario, which I needed to. And Blue Flare has a slight chance to miss. And also Searing Shot has a 30% chance to burn. And main target's actually Salamence, right? Because Salamence can actually switch into Victini. So yeah, if I get a burn off on it, it's really good. So yeah, overall Victini, like it's, if Arcanine comes in, I can just go for Future Sight or Toxic and then just switch out into something that deals with like Milotic, so yeah. And then Mammoth Sign obviously matches up really well. Uh, with this attack investment, it's actually just max. It allows me to knock out Landers and Salamence with Ice Shard. Obviously, if they don't have uh, their Berry, Yachi Berry. And then Earthquake is good coverage, and then Knock Off is just Knock Off, right? I want to be able to knock off items, especially if I can knock off, like, leftovers from Gastrodon on a switch in. And then Oblivious here, so I don't get intimidated. And then Citrus Berry, because I didn't see another item to run, and I felt like Mammalsign could be something that can switch into Landers multiple times or switch into... Or it's actually with Citrus Berry, it takes two Scalds from Feeny, and since, I'm in ter since it's in terrain, I probably I won't get burned. So yeah, that's why I have Citrus Berry. And uh, I think to Feeny, it does like 44% around to like a max HP Tapu Feeny, which is really good. And then Zero R actually doesn't have that good of a matchup, but if you combo with Future Sight, 
any of Zero Aura's attacks, it actually does really well into this team. So the speed here is just for, uh, what is it? Oh, it's here for Jolteon. It actually helps reach Jolteon by 2 points. And the reason it's 2 points is because he might have a Scarfer trying to go to 395. Oh, and Mamoswine's speed was just to outspeed a, a barely invested Arcanine. So yeah. So yeah, and then it's just bulk up with close combat knockoff plasma fist. The reason I have close combat here is because uh it gives me a reliable way to hit Buffalon for a lot, and it gives me a reliable way to knock out Lucario, which I do have a reliable way in Victini's Searing Shot, but this is just much safer, right? Because now I have two ways, and also close combat does a lot, right? Because if I already knocked out for Jolteon item or already knocked out for Gastron item, I don't really have a direct way to hit them really hard, and close combat 120 base power will hit them pretty hard, right? And also close combat knocks out Silver Ally Ice, and yeah. But if you combo, so Zero or actually doesn't do that well, right? Because Lander switches in every time. But if I combo with Future Sight, Future Sight plus knockoff, the only Future Sight switch ins are Metagross and Gothitelle, and they don't like to take knockoff. And even Tapu Fini, knockoff plus Future Sight is going to do like 40%, right? And his leftovers are going to be gone. And that can't repeatedly switch in because it really doesn't have that much reliable recovery. Especially when I have Rillaboom that can just come in every single time. So yeah, and then next is Mandibuzz. This is another safety, like I had Milotic, right? But just in case Milotic gets weakened, I have Mandibuzz. It's also my Defogger, right? And then just Foul Play to hit the Landorus and Salamence and any physical attackers. And then U-Turn, right? Because uh, the main switch into Mandibuzz is Tapu Fini. And I I'd love to U-Turn on it and get into one of my offensive mods like Zero Aura. Next, I have Rillaboom. And this is Lead Seed, Sword Stance, Darkest, Lariat, Grassy Glide. So... Sword Stance, Grassy Glide, let's see how much this hits. It does a lot to Landers, it beats Tapu Fini, right? It be it's basically a check to Gastron, it does really well against Jolteon, right? But then let's look at what does well against Rillaboom. Arcanine can switch in, Salamence can switch in, a defensive Metagross can switch in, you know, Bufalon can switch in. So, I mean, Bufalon has Sap Zipper, so let's look at Arcanine and uh, Metagross. I can easily just Lead Seed on them, switch out. And that's a lot of good chip. So yeah. And then and then I have Darkest Lyria over knockoff here. It's simply because I already have one, two knockoff users. I feel like that's enough. And Darkest Lyria is actually better here, just in case he brings some random like Iron Defense Metagross or like Iron Def or like Curse Gastrodon or something. I feel like it's oh yeah, and Cotton Guard uh Buffalant. So Darkest Lyria is just a safer option there. And Buffalant does have Sap Zipper, so I have to be careful when clicking Grassy Glide. But yeah. So yeah, that's the team. But let's look at some threats. So for Zatu, I Zero Aura should be able to deal with it. But yeah, overall, what kind of stuff did I want to say about this? Pretty simple team, but actually it matches up really well. And if you really look at it, it's actually a really in-depth team builder because like I really made these sets. Like every single move has a purpose here, right? And this gives me many different ways to win, no matter what kind of team he brings. Because I have a really good matchup here, and like, this team should be able to deal with any combination of what he has. But yeah, what else do I have to say here? Okay, so Rillaboom's attack investment is so at plus 2, it actually knocks out a Zatu at Darkest Lyria. And Zatu can't just cosmic power all over Rillaboom, which is really important, right? And this speed again is at 230 mark to outspeed a, like any defensive Arcanine. And also if he has offensive Arcanine and get up a sword stance... Because he most likely won't have Intimidate. Darkest Lyrid actually does a ton. And then Leftovers here is just for reliable recovery. So yeah. Also plus one Grassy Glide into Landers. Plus one because Intimidate. Like it does a lot. So yeah. Overall pretty good team. We have a lot of ways. Like all my Pokemon have ways to deal with Pokemon that it doesn't do well against. Like Victini can do okay against Arcanine. Rillaboom can pressure Arcanine with the, will with the Leet Seed. You know, we have defensive checks to basically everything, and yeah. And we also have a decent amount of speed. We have two forms of priority, so overall a really good team, and let's see how it does.